spring of 1976, Mitch attended the first lesson with Molly. Mitchell, do you prefer Mitch or is Mitchell better? Mitch has never been asked this by a teacher. Mitch, I say. Mitch is what my friends call me. Well, which it is then? Maury says as if closing with you. And Mitch? Yes. I hope that one day you think of me as a friend. Three years later, Mitch graduated from college. The senior class of Venice University, the city of Waltham, Massachusetts. It is the spring of 1979, a hot, sticky Saturday afternoon. Hundreds of students sat together, side by side, in rows of wooden folding chairs on the main campus lawn. Maury meets Mitch's family. You have a special boy here. Mitch was embarrassed and looked at his feet. Before they left, Mitch handed his professor a present. Mitch, you are one of the good ones. Then, Maury hugs Mitch. Will you stay in touch? Of course. When Maury stepped back, Mitch could see that he was crying. Years passed by. Maury, in his 70s, kept dreaming about dying. Most people would think nothing of it. But Maury was always in touch with his insights, knew that something was wrong. He started going to doctors, a lot of them. The doctors did a lot of tests. Finally, Maury and his wife, Charlotte, went to see the doctor. Maury, you have ALS, also known as amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. How did I get it? Nobody knew. So, am I going to die? Unfortunately, yes. You only have about four months left to live. The doctor told them some information about ALS after waiting for two hours. Charlotte thought of many things. How much time did he have left? How will we manage? How will we pay the bills? All of these were in her mind. Days passed. Mitch sung his rental car on the Morris Street in West Newtown. He had a coffee in one hand and a silver phone between his ear and shoulder. Roll back the tape. Let me hear that part again. Mitch was nearing Maury's house. He pushed the brakes, spilling his coffee on his lap. As the car stopped, he saw a glimpse of a large Japanese maple tree and three figures sitting near it in the driveway. A young man and a middle-aged woman might get a small old man in a wheelchair. Maury. Five minutes later, Maury was hugging Mitch. He had told him that he was looking for his keys which is why it took him so long in the car. My old friend, you've come back at last, at last. They visited Maury a few more times. During these times, they talked about family, life, and death. Mitch learned a lot from Maury during these visits. Forgive yourself before you die, then forgive others. Mitch, there is no point keeping vengeance or stubbornness. I learned this the hard way. What happened? I had a good friend named Norman when my wife Charlotte had to go to a pretty serious operation. Norman and his wife never got in touch. I met Norman a few times. He tried to reconcile, but I didn't accept it. A few years ago, he died of cancer. I never got to forgive. Will Mitch and Maury continue to meet on Tuesdays, or will Mitch have to say goodbye? Find out more in Tuesdays with Mommy by Mitch Album. Done by Sophia, Amanda, Nicole, Pauline, and Ivy.